Hey guys, Nicole here with Momentum Accounting. In this video, I am going to be going over a metric that every business should be tracking on a regular cadence. And this metric is called DSO, which stands for Days Sales Outstanding. And so what this is, it's a measure of how quickly your customers pay you. So you want to be measuring this over time. So it could be look at it weekly, it could be monthly, or it could be quarterly. Especially if you as the owner have handed off invoicing and collections to somebody else, it really gives you a bird's eye view of the trends in the collection period. So let me just jump in and show you how to, to calculate it. So this is reach reporting. This is a really awesome tool that we love to use here at Momentum County. And you can see here we've got quarter. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to calculate this metric on a quarterly basis. Again, you could do it in any other uh, term like weekly, monthly. So uh, let's get, let me just show you here. So reach reporting is awesome because we can actually pull in live data. And so in this case, you can see uh, we're hooked up to zero here. If you have QuickBooks online, you can also bring in QBO data and we can also bring in Gusto data. In this example, we only need a few metrics. So I'm gonna pull in income and then from the balance sheet, I'm going to pull in accounts receivable. And then I'm going to pull in the number of days in this is the number of days in the quarter. Okay, so we can see here that this is the quarterly income. This is the ending accounts receivable balance at the end of the period, and then this is the number of days in the quarter. Um, so I'm going to add another custom customers here. And I'm going to call this average draw, it's your average amount receivable, revenue per day, and DSO. So DSO is the ultimate calculation we want to get down to. We just need all these other inputs to calculate it. So we're actually only going to look at, we just needed this quarter of data to calculate the average AR. So I'm going to go average. Mm -hmm. I got my two. And I also love reach reporting because it's super easy to use. It's an Excel like environment, as you can see. So there's really very little learning curve, which is great. Okay, so then I'm going to do revenue per day. So income divided by number of days in the quarter, drag that across. And then DSO is just going to be the average AR divided by the revenue per day. So pull that across. And you can see we're visualizing down here and I can use these little eyes to show or hide data. So I'm going to get rid of all these down here so we can just see the DSO. Okay, cool. So we can see that this business quarterly trends here on how long it takes customer, customers to pay. So four days, seven days, six, four. Now this business uses a payment processor and they actually pull money out of their client's account on the first every month. So their DSO is outstanding. Most of the time when our clients um, start working with us, they're usually between 30 and 40 days. And so our goal is to try to get that number down, which means you are getting money in your bank account quicker. So the reason you want money in your bank account quicker is because, so in this example, right, you've got all your money in your, uh, from your receivables by the sixth day of the month which means you collected all that cash before you have to pay your employees versus if you're 40 days, you've already, you've had to play a payout 40 
days worth of expenses between payroll, all your operating costs before you get paid. So you're always kind of chasing cash. And so that's why this is really important because if you're starting to see that this number is going up, you may have an issue with collections or there may be a workflow issue where your invoices aren't going off quickly enough. Um, and so we definitely want to try to implement payment processors if we can, giving your customers electronic payment options, staying away from receiving checks because those will always increase your DSO. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out on our contact form on our website, and that is MomentumAccounting.com. Thanks.